Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello everyone and welcome again to another story and craft session. I hope you've seen the video of how to submit your special craft. But what do we need for it? Let's see. We need a small sheet of paper, a bowl or half a coconut shell if you have it, dark green and light green crayons, a pencil, a black sketch pen, scissors and glue. Keep all these things ready to do the craft after the story. So let's start with the story. This story happens in the African jungle and I wonder what problem they are facing this time. Let's go have a look. So. In the African jungle, there were lots and lots and lots of trees full of different kinds of fruits. And all the animals would love to eat them every day. Chomp, 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 chomp. The berries that would fall on the ground, the fruits that would grow on the trees, all the animals, the giraffes, the monkeys, the elephants, the rhinos, everybody would just go eat and enjoy. This was all fine till one time it didn't rain for so many days and slowly, slowly what started happening was the fruit stopped growing on the trees. The tree trees became all dry. The leaves started falling down and the fruit stopped growing but now so many animals also were there so animals started having fights for little little small little things i saw the fruit first no i saw the fruit no it's mine no it's mine that's also because the, all the animals became were, were very very hungry right that is why they started fighting with each other till one fine day they looked around all the trees around them and they were all dry not a single green leaf no green grass no fruits no flowers there was nothing growing at all that is a very big problem to have don't you think yeah so all the animals like the giraffe the elephant the zebra the rhino and of course a lot of other animals there was the tortoise as well they all came together and started thinking about what is to be done about this very very serious problem 
Otherwise, what would happen? They would all die. <gasps> no, 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 no. There has to be some sort of answer for this. So they all met and said, what is to be done? Now, the tortoise, who was known to be very, very slow, right? He said in his very gentle voice, I know what to do. Yeah? What? What can we do? said the giraffe. At the end of the forest, there lives an old lady who is called Grandma Coco. Grandma Coco knows some magic and she will tell us what to do to grow a tree with lots of fruits. It will be a magical tree. What? Are you serious? Nah, I don't think so. That's possible. Yes, yes, yes. Grandma Coco will give us the magic word and if we say the magic word together, holding hands, then the magic tree will come and it will have all kinds of fruits. <gasps> wow! If only it would be true. Yes, it's true. We have to go to the edge of the forest and there is a small hut. That is where Grandma Coco lives and we need to ask her what is the magic word. So maybe I can go and ask. The zebra said, you? No, 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 no. You are too slow. If you go now, you will come back after 10 days. After that, all of us will be dead by then. No, 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 no. You stay here only. Okay. I will go and ask Grandma Coco about this wonderful tree and what is the magic word. And so saying, the giraffe went to Grandma Coco's house. Now, Grandma Coco was very, very, very old. And the zebra came to her and said, Grandma Coco, Grandma Coco, can you tell us the magic word for getting the magic tree with all the fruits? Oh, so you've eaten up all the fruits on the trees. All the trees are now dry. Yes, yes, Grandma Coco, tell us the word, tell me the word quickly. Oh, I will tell you the word. Come here. But you should remember the word. And you should not look here. You should not look there. You should just go directly and tell your friends. Then you should all come together and say the magic word loudly. And only then the tree will come. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. I understood. Tell me now. Come here. It is... Obungo Rangamba. Obungo Rangamba. Okay, I will remember it, said the zebra. And said, I will not look here. I will not look there. I will go quickly running and tell all my friends. And then we will get the magical tree. And so that is what the zebra did. He went running. You know, zebras are like horses, right? They run very fast. So zebra said, I remember the name. Obungo Rangamba. And he ran, 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 ran so fast that he didn't see a big snake which was in its way. The zebra stopped. You scared me, snake. Sorry, said the snake and slithered away. Phew, said the zebra. Ah, uh, what was the magic word again? What's the magic word? Uh, Ochinko chinkampa. I remember it said the zebra. Ochinko chinkampa. Ochinko chinkampa. And here he went and told all his friends, Hey, this is the magic word, okay? Ochinko chinkampa. Is that the right word? Let's see what happens. So all the animals stood together like this. All together and the rhino as well and they closed their eyes can you also close your eyes and can you say the magic word with me okay here we go one two three eyes closed oh chinko chinkampa oh chinko chinkampa 
Ochinko Chinkampa. And they all slowly open their eyes. Was there a magical tree? Can you see any magical tree? No. We know why, right? Because I don't think the zebra had the right name. Mm. So all the animals looked at zebra and said, You must have got the wrong name. So zebra said, What can I do? There was a snake who was in the way. He, he disturbed me. He scared me. So I forgot. Huh, said the giraffe. Let me go this time. I am not going to be scared of some little snake. I will go and get the magic name. And so saying, the giraffe went next to Grandma Coco's hut. Uh, the Grandma Coco was sitting outside her hut and she saw the giraffe come. Grandma Coco, what is the magic word for the magical tree? Didn't I just tell the zebra who came? Yeah, but he forgot. I told him, don't look here, don't look there. Just go directly to your friends. He didn't listen to me. Yes, Grandma Coco, but I will listen to you. I will not look here. I will not look there. I will remember the name. Please tell me the name. Come here. And Grandma Coco told him the magic word. Obungo Rangamba. Will you remember that? Yes, yes, yes. I will remember that. And I will not look here. And I will not look there. And I will go and quickly tell my friends. That's what the giraffe said. And so the giraffe went to do to do to do to do because giraffes walk a little like that. To do do to do to do to do to And he was so intent on walking that he didn't see his legs got stuck in one creeper. There was so much of creepers there. You know what creepers are, right? They are these stringy, 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 stringy plants. And the giraffe's legs got stuck and he went boom. By the time he got out of the creepers, what do you think happened? He forgot the magic word. Uh, uh, I know it was something with O. O pinko pinkampa. Yes. O pinko pinkampa. O pinko pinkampa. He went to his friends and told them this is the magic word. O pinko pinkampa. Are you sure, said the elephant. Yes, yes, yes. And so, again, all the animals stood together and closed their eyes and said the magic word together. Can you do that too? One, two, three. Close your eyes. And we are going to say the giraffe's magic word. O pinko pinkampa. O pinko pinkampa. O pinko pinkampa. And. Ah. Do you see a magic tree anywhere? Do you see a tree full of fruit anywhere? No, it didn't work. Ah, said the elephant. Even you forgot the magic word, giraffe. I'm feeling so hungry. I need to eat and you are wasting time by forgetting the magic word. Don't worry. This time I am going to go and ask Grandma Coco and I will be careful. So the elephant started going to Grandma Coco's hut and there was Grandma Coco sitting again outside her little hut. The elephant came and he said, Grandma Coco, can you please tell me the magic word for the magic tree? Didn't I just tell the giraffe the magic word? Yes, but he forgot it by the time he came to us. I told him, don't look here, don't look there. Just go directly to your friends. Yes, Grandma Coco, but he tripped on some creepers. Okay, come here. Give me your big flappy ear. 
the word is obungo rangamba and don't forget and don't look here and don't look there and especially don't look down okay otherwise you will fall and so the elephant said yes 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 i will remember i will remember oh bungo rangamba oh bungo rangamba oh bungo rangamba oh bungo rangamba said the elephant and he went on walking walk 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 ah! what is that ah can you see how sharp it is it's a thorn and it went into the elephant's foot oh said the elephant and with his trunk he pulled out the thorn oh he said oh. anyway i'm okay now let me go back to my friends but do i remember the magic word oh oh dingo dingamba i remember the name he said and so the elephant went back to his friends saying i remember the name i remember the name so again all the animals stood together closed their eyes come on come on everybody close your eyes ready 1 2 3 closed and o oh, dingo dingamba o oh, dingo dingamba o oh, dingo dingamba no magic tree with magic fruits elephant you also forgot the magic word what are we supposed to do now sorry but there was a big thorn which got stuck in my leg so what you should have remembered again the tortoise said let me go i will get the name for you no 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 you are too slow said everybody so poor tortoise still waited till rhino said this time i will go and nobody can stop me on the way so that's what rhino did he went and met grandma coco when grandma coco saw the rhino she said even the elephant forgot the name i think you all are going to be hungry forever because you are not remembering the name how many times am i supposed to tell you all don't worry grandma coco this time i will remember please tell me the name okay come here the name is obungo rangamba i will remember that it's not very difficult said the rhino thank you grandma coco he said and he started walking back i think this time i think rhino will remember he was very careful so he saw the creepers but he just squashed them aside he saw the snake slithering there but he did not even stop he saw the thorn on which the elephant had stepped and he just kicked it aside i think this time he will remember the word so he kept looking down and walking because everybody the giraffe the elephant had all either tripped on something on the ground or had got a thorn right so he said i'm going to look down and walk so i don't trip on anything and i don't get scared of snakes and i don't get a thorn in my leg so the rhino walked it is nose down 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 he kept looking down 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 and you know what this is right down 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 you know what this is you see there are small small what ants growing on it it was an ant hill and it was so big and the rhino was walking with his head down 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 he hit his head on the ant hill Oh, poor rhino even he suddenly forgot what the magic word was uh it was um um oh yeah i think i know it was olingo lingamba and so saying the rhino said i'm not like the others i remembered it even though i hit my head on the ant hill i remembered the name 
So he went and told all the animals, this is the magic word. O lingo lingamba. So all the animals again stood quickly. Close their eyes. I hope you're closing your eyes. Close your eyes quickly. And let's say the magic word together. Ready? One, two, three. O lingo lingamba. O lingo lingamba. O lingo lingamba. There's still no magic tree. There's still no magic tree with lovely fruits. Oh, we are so hungry, said all the animals. We are so hungry. Are all of you get that name wrong? Oh, what are we going to do? <sighs> Finally, the tortoise said, By now, if you had sent me, I would have even come back. So now, I am not listening to all of you. I am going to go and get the magic word. By now, all the animals were so sad that they had all gone and got the wrong word that they didn't say anything to tortoise. They said, okay, tortoise, please go. And so, that's what the tortoise did. He was slow, but he was sure. He went slowly, slowly, slowly to Grandma Coco. Grandma Coco was again sitting outside in her hut drinking a cup of tea. When the tortoise came slowly, slowly, slowly. What? You still not got the magic tree? <laughs> None of you animals will listen to me. Every time I've been telling all the animals to be careful. Don't look here. Don't look there. Just go directly to your friends. Ah. So they sent you. Yes, Grandma Coco. Can you please tell me the magic word? <sighs> okay. Come here, tortoise. The word is Obungo Rangam Ba. Thank you, Grandma Coco. I will remember the word. I'll see. Others all said they will also remember the name, but they all forgot. All the best to you, tortoise. Go now. Bye. And so the tortoise took leave of Grandma Coco and slowly, 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 slowly walked back to his friends. He saw the anthill on which the rhino had bumped his head. But he didn't bump his head. He went around it. He saw the thorn which was now lying flat on the ground. But he went around the thorn and it didn't get hurt. He saw the creepers which were now crushed by the elephant but he didn't stop because of the creepers. He saw the snake slithering somewhere far away but he didn't stop. Quietly, slowly, slowly, slowly with every step kept on saying Abungu Rangampa, Abungu Rangampa, Abungu Rangampa, Abungu Rangampa and finally Walking slowly, 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 he reached his friends who were by now so hungry. Are you sure you remember the name, tortoise? You know the correct name? You know the correct magic word? Yes, don't worry. I did not fall on anything. I did not bump into anything. I did not get scared with anything. And I did not trip and fall. So I remember the magic word very well. Do you remember the magic word? Yes. So let's now come together again. Close our eyes. And get ready to see if the tortoise actually remembers the correct word. Are you ready? Okay. Close your eyes. No cheating, otherwise the magic will not work. Okay? Right. So let's close our eyes and say the magic word. O bungo rangamba. O bungo rangamba. O bungo rangamba. Open. What's that? Wow. The elephant.
elephant, the giraffe, the zebra, the rhino. They saw the most beautiful tree ever. Look at that. So many fruits. Can you see the fruits? There are bananas. There are strawberries. There are grapes. There are oranges. There are peaches and guavas and pineapples and pears and plums. Wow! Okay. Now the fruit is on the tree. But how do you get the fruit down? So all the animals sat around the tree and again closed their eyes. Can we also do the same thing? Again closed their eyes and said the magic word for all the fruits, fruits to drop. We are also going to do the same thing. So close your eyes and let's say the magic word. One, two, three, close. O bungo rangamba. O bungo rangamba. O bungo rangamba. And when they opened their eyes, they saw all the fruits falling down. Oh, the fig, the plum, the pomegranate, and the pineapple, the orange, the bananas, everything started falling down. And yum, all the animals were so excited. Look, raspberries, muskmelon, guava, everything, all the fruits started falling down. And all the animals were so happy. Look, 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 figs. Look, 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 strawberries. Look, 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 grapes. Look, 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 guava, what is that? Oh, mangoes, yum. Mmm, what's this? Ooh, oranges. All the animals went and ate, 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 ate. <gasps> Abba. <sighs> they weren't hungry anymore. But you know what? The tortoise was very, very smart. And he told all the animals, wait. You can eat all you want. But after you finish eating, the seeds of the fruit that you have, we need to plant them again and make sure they will grow into beautiful trees. That way, we will always have fruits. Yes, 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 all the animals said, you are right. From the magical tree, if we get the magical fruits, and from magical fruits, we get the magical seeds. And if we plant them again, we will get more magical trees, which will give us fruits forever. That's what we should do. Otherwise, again, what do you think will happen? They will eat up all the fruits from the magical tree. And that's it. Again, they will have to go to Grandma Coco for asking for. But it doesn't work like that, okay? Only one time you can get a magical tree. You can't go every time to Grandma Coco and say, Oh, oh Bungo Rangamba and keep making magical trees. This is only one time. And so, with all the fruits that they got from the magical tree, they took the seeds of all the fruits and planted it so that those seeds could grow up into magical trees or fruit trees and give them an everlasting supply of wonderful fruits all the time. So this was the story of learning how important it is to grow trees. Do you know what this month is special for? This month of June, it is the month of the World Environment Day, which is celebrated on June 5th. And that is what we need to do. Like the wise tortoise said, we need to plant trees, lots of trees. And not only for fruits, but just because with trees, we actually get oxygen, right? And we get less of pollution. So, all the animals learned this wonderful lesson and so should we. You eat a fruit, you see if you can go and plant it somewhere. For all you know, after a few years, maybe that tree will grow into a huge big one and get some wonderful fruits for you. Right? <gasps> now is craft time. So, let's get to the craft. So, let's say bye-bye to everybody who was in the story. Starting with the giraffe, a zebra, 
by zebra, by giraffe, by elephant, by rhino, by tortoise, by all the fruits, and by Grandma Coco. Bye, children. Remember, please plant more trees. Don't cut off trees. They give us life. Okay. Bye, kids. <laughs> so, let's get to making our craft for the day. Do you know what we are going to make with our material? I hope you kept it all ready. Right? So, we are going to make the hero of the story, which was the tortoise. And this is going to be the shell of the tortoise. So, if you have half a coconut shell, you could use that. Or you could use a plastic bowl, which is not used anymore for this, art, this craft activity. Okay, so let's start. Hmm. So take your small sheet of paper and on this we are going to draw a big U on one side, smaller U's like this and Do you know what all these shapes are going to be? This is going to be the tortoise's head and these are going to be its legs and this is going to be its tail. I'll tell you how that all will fit in. Let's make the eyes of the tortoise. And maybe give it a smile. Now you can color the, your tortoise green. I'm choosing the color green. If you want, you could choose brown or any other color you want. It is going to be your special tortoise. Right? So color it carefully. Leave a little gap at the ends because that's where we are going to put the glue to stick. So don't color up to the end. Does anybody know what is the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? They both look the same, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you all could find it out. What is the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? After I finish coloring, I'll tell you. So don't worry. and the tail. So the difference between a tortoise and a turtle is a turtle is a sea creature. It lives in the water and it has flippers for its hands. 
but the tortoise which stays on the land it has proper uh, proper feet with toes like small toes so a turtle can swim but a tortoise has to stay on land so that is the difference between a tortoise and a turtle. Make the outlines with a black sketch pen. And the eyes. And the mouth. And that's it. That's all we need. The tortoise's face, the hands and the tail. We are now going to cut it along the outline. There, the head is done. Try to make the hands little longish. Okay, because we will be sticking some part of the hand, some part of the face which will go inside the bowl. Okay, so make long hands, long, long face, long tail. There, we have finished cutting everything. Now is the sticking part. So the way we are going to do this is, you first keep your bowl and position the tortoise's face, hands. So if the face goes here, the tail will go at the back. Position the hands and the fore, fore limbs and the hind limbs. Okay, that's what your tortoise is going to look like. Time to now just stick it. The way you will stick it is, open this and we are going to stick it this way. Put the glue at the bottom part of the tortoise's face. And then, this is the way we will stick it. Stick it from inside. Repeat the same thing for the tortoise hands. Put the glue and stick it in. Put the glue and stick it inside. Put the glue the bottom and stick. Put the glue and stick and put the glue and stick so you can just arrange it properly so that the head and the tail is in one line and the arms and the legs are also at the same level mm -hmm. so this is how your tortoise is going to look first okay so after the glue dries then you can gently fold the tortoise face, legs and tail backwards like this. You need to wait for the glue to dry nicely. Okay. And there your tortoise is ready. There. Tortoise, what is the secret word for getting the magic tree? Oh, bungo rongom bo.
yeah so this time i am going to leave some work for all of you i want you to decorate the shell of the tortoise in the best way that you can you can use color color paper you can make a design and then stick the paper on the on the shell of the tortoise you can do anything okay i want to see how nice ideas you all are going to get because if i show you i see many many children are doing exactly what i show them i want you all to think a little bit of how you can decorate your tortoise shell and you know what you have to do you have to submit your tortoise to me and i will choose the 10 best of all the tortoises right so this is what you are going to do for this wonderful environment day month of june make your own tortoise and decorate the shell however you want make it a lovely shell colorful shell use whatever you want okay and send it to me till the next story bye and obum go rangam ba hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun fill learning session at yolo here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class as a first step go to live.yolo.com you can use any browser to access this site on this page you will see a list of all our classes scroll down and you can see the submit your work button and then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you have attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work you can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends if you want to showcase your work on social media that too is very simple click on share copy the link and post it on instagram or facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder Your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at yolo_app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions.